What up, Fight World? This, I mean, Boxing Club, man, let's get to it. So, Earl Spence Jr., man, he just responded to Jerron Ennis saying that, Jerron Ennis was saying that he trying to reel in the big fish. You know, Earl Spence called himself the big fish. So, Earl Spence's response was, <clears throat> He might catch something he doesn't he doesn't want, you know what I'm saying? You might he might catch something you don't want. So like hey, what I got to say about this is man, this is a big fight in the making that, that could happen. Uh I think it, it would happen at 154 and not 147 if it happens, but um I don't wanna look past like well, you know, like Earl Spencer and Crawford gonna fight first, and I see that fight happening, so the winner of that fight, like if Spence win, then I see that fight happening. And if Crawford win, I see that I can see that fight happening. But um if he fight, I mean, let's just say, let's just say uh he become mandatory. I mean, he already the mandatory, so let's just say he get the fight with Spence instead of Terrence Crawford, which you know it's possible. Let's just say he get the fight. Um, one thing I can say is Jerron Ennis, man. He looked the part, man. I could tell that he he a great fighter and that uh, he gonna be one of the greats, man. And he have the skills, the power, the speed. He have every the defense. He he could be slick, you know. I see him get hit sometimes, but I think it's because of who he in the ring with. He not really respecting him too much, but I seen him be real slick, man. I feel like Jerron Ennis got what it takes to beat everybody at 147. And I feel the same way about Terrence Crawford. And I feel the same way about Errol Spence Jr. So it's like, one thing I want to say is, uh, we seen Errol Spence have to face adversity plenty of times. We seen Errol Spence get hurt. We seen him uh, come back and, and knock guys out. And, 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 you know, overall get the victories, man. We seen him go to Sheffield. He went to the UK, fought Kell Brook. A tough, that was like 11 round fight, you know, tough fight. He went out there and, and stopped him and got brought the belts back, you know. Um, Kell Brook is a, a, a real good fighter too, man. And um, I don't think he get the credit that he should. I mean, Terrence Crawford, I like Terrence Crawford more um, than Kell Brook. You know, I, I used to like Kell Brook a lot, but I want to say that when, when Terrence Crawford was fighting Kell Brook, Kell Brook was outboxing him. Nah, Terrence Crawford got the knockout win. And, um, you know, he, he ended up catching him with a shot that looked like it shouldn't have hurt him. And um, it hurt him, I guess. And uh, he got the, he finished him off and, and, and KO'd him. But Carol Brook could fight good, man. And uh, Errol Spence beat him years before uh, Terrence Crawford got to him. So uh, we, we never seen Jerron Ennis have to face adversity. We never seen him get challenged. We... You know, uh, I felt like uh, Custio Clayton, that's his name. I, I feel like he um, did, he he could have did better. Uh, Jerron Ennis was just like, he, he just real good, man. He caught him with the shot behind the ear, man, and it was over with. But, you know, I felt like if that fight would have went six rounds, I think we would have seen Jerron Ennis uh, get tested a little. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't saying that he would have lost to this dude or been losing rounds, but would have seen him get tested more, but he just, he got rid of him too fast, man. He got rid of him so fast that we didn't even see nothing, but when he fighting Errol Spence, man, it's, it, you know, it's, it's levels, man, and it's like, not saying he not on the same level as Spence, but it's like, you haven't fought nobody close to this level, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be different for him. It's going to be different for him, and you're going to be in there with somebody that's not going to drop soon as you hit them. You know what I'm saying? And um, somebody that's going to be working your body the whole fight. Um, somebody that's going to be hitting you with a hard jab. And, and yeah, he going to dish it out. I know Jerron Ennis will dish it out. I mean, I see that being a great fight. Um, I'm not sold on, and, and I, I, I believe in Jerron Ennis skills, man, but I ain't sold on the fact that he just beats Errol Spence Jr. And I ain't, you know, if anything, at this moment, at, at this moment, I'm leaning towards Errol Spence, man. And um, because Errol Spence is like, he, he a great fighter, but he proved it, man. And he, we seen him up against the top competition, seen what he did with him, man. He stopped top fighters, you know what I'm saying? Um, KO top fighters. Came back from a car accident and beat a top fighter in Danny Garcia. You know, we, we I just want to see, I know a lot of people want to hype Jerron in this up. And um, the hype, I see why they hype him up, man. Dude. 
he ain't showed us not one flaw. <laughs> he ain't showed us not one flaw, man. Um, like I said, I seen him get hit before and stuff like that. Seen him get caught with good shots, but I think he's just not respecting those guys because he know he finna get them out of there. But, you know, I do feel like once he step it up in competition, I want to see him fight Virgil Ortiz, man. Like, I, I want to see that fight happen. I want to see him fight uh, Mean Machine. I see him fight somebody like that, and then he going to, like, dude going to do his thing against both of them if he fight them, man. I feel like he'll do his thing, but... We just, I just want to see him get tested more. And um, being that he ain't get tested, let's say, for instance, Spence hit him in his chin real good and he get wobbled. And, you know, Spence, Spence, one thing about Spence and one thing about Bud, man, at the welterweight division, those guys, they see you hurt, man. They going to they gonna get you up out of there, man. They going to be on you. So, you know, we seen how Spence responded when he got hurt. We seen how Bud responded when he got hurt. We haven't seen Jerron Ennis get hurt or get challenged a little bit. That's why I would lean towards Spence, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, that could change, though. That can change, man. It's not like it just, that's how I'm going to feel forever. But at this moment, man, I feel like Spence got it. And, um, you know, that's a good fight that could be made soon, man, you know. But everybody drop in the comment section who y'all think will win that fight. And if y'all think, whoever y'all think will win, let, uh, uh, let me know how y'all think they will win, will win by decision, knockout, or whatever, man. But, you know, that's. That's all I got, Fight World. It's I mean Boxing Club. Everybody, like, comment, and subscribe, man. I'm out.